low mileage, extra clean with factory air, automatic transmission, power steering and brakes, AMF and stereo, and more, only $79.90. Elon and Sports T-Birds, Escort GTs, Lincoln Town Cars, Cougars, F-150s and Rangers, Crown Vicks, 8.9 and 9.9 .9 financing. Only $99 down with approved credit. Special prices and financing in soon. At Long Lewis Ford with no fine print. You ought to be in picture. Say cheese. You're wonderful to see. Say cheese. Now say cheese at Burger King and get this terrific outdoor pocket camera for only $1.99. It takes great pictures with regular 110 film. Just order a Whopper with cheese or any sandwich with cheese. Say cheese. Do it now. These cameras will be gone in a snap. You're gonna be in pictures at Burger King. Say cheese. Stay tuned for Benson following the WBRC 6 News. Now, from Birmingham, the award-winning WBRC6 News at 10. With Scott Richards, Janet Hall, Mike Royer, and Eli Gold. Good evening. An Etowah County man has been charged with murdering a woman by performing an illegal abortion. 53-year-old Max Naylor of the Smiths Institute community is a mechanic with no medical training, according to police. They say he attempted to perform an abortion on 29-year-old Carol McClendon, whose body was found Sunday night in her apartment in Albertville. A preliminary autopsy lists the cause of death as air in the bloodstream. Police detective Tommy Cole says it's not known how far along McClendon was in her pregnancy, and there is no information yet as to why she did not seek an abortion at a licensed medical facility. Ms. McClendon was divorced and had two children, ages two and four. Jurors begin deliberations tomorrow in the Danny Siebert murder trial. Siebert is charged with killing a deaf woman and her two children in Talladega last year. Today, the jury listened to Siebert's tape-recorded confession to the crime. Siebert has pleaded not guilty by reason of insanity. He has already been convicted of another Talladega murder and faces charges on yet another. Aniston Family Court Judge James Sloan will go back to work Monday morning despite a new investigation into his past sexual conduct. Sloan has not been at work since he was acquitted of child molestation charges in Rhode Island two weeks ago. But today, his attorneys announced that he is ready to go back to the bench and face public and professional scrutiny. Scrutiny is exactly what the judge is getting from Calhoun County District Attorney Bob Fields. He says he will turn over information to a judicial inquiry commission about alleged sexual incidents between Judge Sloan and a number of young men between the ages of 10 and 16. Fields says some of the information was uncovered by Rhode Island prosecutors, but it never came out in the trial because Sloan's attorneys never put character witnesses on the stand. Now the DA is continuing the investigation and says even more is being uncovered. Persistent reports that could have been verified have existed down through the years. I believe they could have been verified. I believe we have verified some of them now. People are coming forward and they're saying, hey, you need to contact so-and-so. Or we have an individual maybe that comes forward himself and say, hey, I need to talk to you. Uh, and, and that individual often leads us on to somebody else. Field says the alleged incidents go back 20 years, covering a period when Sloan was on the bench and when he served as a Boy Scout counselor. The information will be turned over to a judicial inquiry board the first of next week. Birmingham police are looking for two men who killed a woman during a robbery earlier this month. 87-year-old Etta Royster was shot and killed, and her 88-year-old husband severely beaten by the robbers. Goodman Royster is hospitalized. Cynthia Pryor tells us more in this Crime Stoppers report. The two victims, Mr. and Mrs. Royster, were here alone at their home at number 9, 2nd Street North in North Birmingham. The date was June 1st. It was about 8 o'clock in the evening. The couple was just finishing dinner for that night. Shortly after the couple finished eating dinner, they heard a knock on the door. They saw a man calling Mrs. Royster, saying he was there to repay a debt. Ms. Royster? But neither Goodman nor Etta Royster recognized the man. Just when they really started to get suspicious, a second man burst into the house waving a gun. He told the couple to give them their money. Yeah. Oh, man, ain't no money in here. When the robber found out the couple had no money, he began to beat Mr. Royster, knocking him down. He then turned to Mrs. Royster, shot twice, killing her. What can you tell us about the, um, the suspects? There were two suspects in the incident. One was described as a black male, light complexion, about 5'6", 135 pounds. The second was described as a black male, 
approximately six feet tall, 200 pound, heavy build. Mm -hmm. uh, that's all the description that we have to this point. For Crime Stoppers, Cynthia Pryor, WBRC 6 News. If you have any information about this crime, call Crime Stoppers at 254-7777. Your name will be kept confidential. Next on WBRC 6 News, Atlanta's mayor will not be indicted for his role in the Julian Bond case. And later we'll find out what a group has against the latest advancement in recorded music. Look at what people are saying about OptiWorld. When you come to OptiWorld, uh, you can get an eye exam. Then the lab makes up your glasses in about an hour. You can pick out your frames from what must be thousands of wonderful frames, and you're on your way. That's all there is to it. It's quick, it's convenient, it's dependable. I love it. OptiWorld. Brookwood Village Convenience Center and the Center at River Chase near Children's Palace. It's after 10 o'clock. Do you know where your car dealer is? Eastwood Ford is open, and we're making deals right now. We're staying open until midnight tonight, and every car and truck in stock is on sale. Tremendous discounts on the best selection of new and used cars and trucks in the South. Tremendous savings. Eastwood Ford, Birmingham's incredible Ford dealer, is open until midnight. We're open right now. That's incredible. No, that's Eastwood Ford. He's from the Birmingham. Eastwood Two miles east of Eastwood Mall on Highway 78. Because a woman's needs are different, her health care should be too. That's why St. Vincent's has opened a health center in Hoover specializing in women's care. There's also a women's fitness facility, plus doctors who see to all the family's needs. Physicians have regular office hours and offer a wide range of care, backed by the resources at St. Vincent's Hospital. St. Vincent's Health Center in Hoover, for your family's good health. Making your life better. Profit or loss? That's the bottom line in business. And how well a business can handle information often means the difference. That's why South Central Bell pioneered custom-designed communication services, creating a unique network of people and technology, providing flexible, economical voice and digital data services. So remember, when it comes to the bottom line, there's one name you need to remember. South Central Bell. Call on us. Atlanta Mayor Andrew Young will not be indicted for obstruction of justice in the Julian Bond case, that from a U.S. attorney today. Without specifically naming Young, the attorney said that federal obstruction of justice laws had been violated, but there was not enough evidence to prosecute. Young became the target of an investigation when he phoned Julian Bond's estranged wife after she had told police that Bond, a former Georgia state senator, was a cocaine user. She later changed her story and said he did not use cocaine. Scott? Lieutenant Colonel Oliver North has a date tomorrow to be questioned by congressional investigators, but North will not be keeping that date. Investigators have questioned most of the other witnesses in private prior to their public testimony, but North's lawyer said today that may violate his due process rights, even though he does have a grant of limited immunity. Decatur airplane dealer Titus Blackston has been ordered to testify before a federal grand jury hearing evidence in the Iran-Contra arms sale. Blackston sold a plane to retired Air Force General Richard Secord in 1985. Secord, as you know, is a key player in the Iran-Contra arms deal. Yesterday, Blackston turned over documents concerning the sale to federal investigators. He's scheduled to testify June 29th. Sentencing for Michael Yeomans has been postponed. Yeomans, you'll remember, is the former State Department of Revenue clerk who was convicted of using his public office to influence an election. Yeomans copied Bill Baxley's tax returns and helped distribute them to media outlets prior to last year's gubernatorial runoff. Yeomans' attorney requested the delay to gather more information for use in the hearing. He's trying to get the felony conviction reduced to a misdemeanor of copying tax returns. I guess our weather would be equivalent to a misdemeanor. I mean, it hasn't been great, but it hasn't been too terribly awful. Right, sort of pesky. You'll think, gee, it's going to be a pretty day. The sun will break through, and then it just seems a few minutes later, some thunder showers. Today right. especially was tricky. Yeah, and once again, this is sort of the uh, boring part of the country for weather, and other parts of the uh, country having very severe weather tonight. Scott, out in Texas, for example, in the Panhandle, tornadoes have touched down there this evening. One person killed, and at this point, several reported injured up in the uh, northern Panhandle of Texas. We'll tell you more about that. Tell you about the weather for the rest of the week. And and an outlook at the weekend as well. We'll be back with it all up next.
If your car's engine has been acting funny, you may have a dirty, clogged up fuel system. The solution? Super clean, unleaded gasolines from Phillips 66. You can depend on Phillips 66 super clean unleaded and premium unleaded to clean up your fuel injectors or carburetor and keep them clean with continuous use. So don't put your engine through the ringer. Fill up with super clean. The clean up and keep clean gasolines from Phillips 66. The time is now. The saving spectacular. And the place, Circuit City. Save now on your choice of a Frigidaire Deluxe 18 cubic foot refrigerator or a Whirlpool side-by-side -side refrigerator freezer. Just $588.97 each. The Sharp VCR with wireless remote is only $228.97 during the city sale at Circuit City. The intelligent choice. It's out there, waiting for you. Stronger, sleeker, smarter than any of its kind has ever been. The new breed, Jaguar XJ6. The evolution of the species. Test drive the XJ6 sedan at your Jaguar dealer. In today's world, the stresses and strains of life can be pretty overwhelming. Mom, Mom, what's for dinner? At HSA Hillcrest Sunrise Hospital, we care and can help. But don't wait until a problem becomes a crisis. Call our helpline today for information or a free evaluation. Call 836-1742. We can help. Meteorologist Mike Royer's weather forecast is prepared here at the WBRC6 Weather Center, a National Weather Service observation station. The uh, thunderstorms I told you about have been heaviest out in Texas, parts of Oklahoma tonight. Uh, tornadoes did touch down 15 miles north of uh, Prairie du Chien, Wisconsin this evening. No reports of any damage or injury there. The uh, death I mentioned earlier was in the northern panhandle of Texas. Uh, that tornado uh, was in near the town of Prairieton in the Panhandle. I'm not familiar with that town, but that's where it touched down. One person killed and uh, several people injured. Very high winds out in the Plain States tonight. On that flat land, the winds get blowing with these thunderstorms, and there's just nothing to stop them, and very intense thunderstorms there this evening. That's the busy place in the country. Here's our guest weather slide for this evening. This uh, pretty picture taken down around Panama City, Florida. Picture taken by Maggie Harden from Birmingham. That is uh, the Eden State Home and Garden near Panama City, Florida. We appreciate that pretty picture and all the nice guest weather slides we get here. Our temperature now is 78 degrees. The relative humidity at 97%. The wind is light from the east at 3 miles per hour. The barometric pressure at 30.01 inches and rising. We've just had a trace of rainfall. Those, there are some thunder showers to the north that really won't give it up tonight. Still dumping some fairly heavy rain to the north. Skies now in the Magic City partly cloudy. Sun index for a day in the medium category. It will be in the medium category once again during the day tomorrow. Heavy rainfall was hard to find today, but some places getting fairly heavy rainfall amounts. Let's take a look at rainfall totals from around the state. Montgomery had just over an inch of rain today. Mobile at 7 tenths, Anniston at 62 hundredths, Birmingham Airport just 14 hundredths of an inch, and in Tuscaloosa 12 hundredths of an inch. Let's take a look at the uh, latest satellite or temperature, first of all, temperatures around the area. 78 degrees here. Tuscaloosa has 76, 75 in Selma, 73 in Montgomery, Auburn at 72. Very consistent temperatures. Warmer temperatures to the north. We're at 77 degrees right now in Montgomery. Now the satellite photograph, southeastern view, first of all, will show us the clouds quite heavy to the west. Heavy thunderstorms out this way as well in parts of Oklahoma, Texas, Louisiana. Low-level clouds here with some showers still hanging on up around the Coleman area. Clouds and scattered showers also over in Georgia. As we look at the radar summary in the southeast, you can see the very heavy thunderstorms. This is what we're banking our forecast on for tomorrow. Still plenty of moisture around the southeast with some of these thunder showers drifting over our way. Tonight, heavy thunderstorms in Texas, parts of Louisiana, and into Mississippi. The rain in northern Alabama is beginning to diminish, but there's still some rain up through Cullman County and on to the north. If we look at the rest of the United States, clouds are spreading low-level clouds through the northern Great Lakes region. But this is the problem area. In Texas, the Panhandle region, this is where the tornado touched down this evening. Then very heavy thunderstorms and gusty winds in western parts of uh, Kansas, Nebraska, on up into uh, parts of extreme southwestern South Dakota. It will still be a busy weather night there this evening. National radar summary also shows heavy thunderstorms in that part of the country tonight. 
Those thunderstorms in a very thin line, but uh, really some deadly thunderstorms that could cause real potential problems overnight. Overnight low temperatures will be comfortable tonight, mostly in the 70s, 60s through the Great Lakes and out to the west with cool 40s in the uh, northwestern part of the country. Let's check our radar on the 150-mile scan. A few scattered showers up that direction. Those will dissipate this evening. Here's the forecast for tonight. Just a few showers. They should be ending by about midnight. Low of 70 tomorrow. Scattered thunder showers, 50% chance. High temperature up to 87. Low tomorrow night, 70 degrees. And here's the extended forecast. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, partly cloudy through the period. Upper 80s for daytime highs, nighttime lows, mostly in the low 70s. No big changes except those rain chances, instead of being 50 and 60%, will be like 20 and 30%. So not as much rain later on in the week and the weekend. Sounds good. All right. Thanks, Thank you, Mike. Next on WBRC6 News, a tearful Tammy Baker says her family will fight to stay in their lavish South Carolina home. And later, the retracing of an historic flight ends in Jefferson County. 60 years ago, Charles Lindbergh did it. Today, two local men did the same. I'm Kendra Reeves, and I'll explain. Coming up on WBRC 6 News. Great news, car buyers. Mazda takes the world-class value of the 626 and makes it greater than ever. Buy any model 626 now and choose $900 worth of options free from Mazda. Or make your best deal on a 626 and get $900 cash back from Mazda. But hurry, these incredible 626 offers end soon. After that, they'll be yesterday's news. Now, choose $900 worth of free options or get $900 cash back. Only one rear engine rider is America's number one choice, Snapper. Number one in rugged dependability and innovative features, like high vacuum mowing with your choice of catchers, Snapper. America's number one choice. Quick starting Snapper walk mowers have the same built-in quality and let you detach. Vacuum leaves and finish the whole job fast. See Snapper's full line at Saunders Hardware, Highway 280 East at Inverness and Saunders Outdoor Store, 63 Church Street in Crestline. Has your dad mentioned radar detectors as a Father's Day gift suggestion? Now at Long's Electronics, you can get this Maxon RD1, the radar detector that everyone is raving about for only $69. You can save 20 bucks. This radar detector senses both X and K band radar in only a quarter of a second. This is the perfect gift for dad. And the place for Father's Day gifts that you can't go wrong is, of course, at Long's Electronics. Long's Electronics. PTL evangelist Tammy Faye Baker said today that she and her husband Jim Baker will hire an attorney to avoid being forced out of their million dollar house in Tega Kay, South Carolina. She told reporters she hopes Jerry Falwell and his family never have to suffer the way she says he has made her family suffer. I wake up every morning wishing that they had killed me. And Jim does too. We, it would have been uh, much kinder for them just to have put a bullet in us. But they didn't, and so we're still here. The Bakers returned to the house a week ago. The money-strapped PTL wants them out so the house can be sold. Today, a prankster apparently sent a moving van to the house. The van left minutes after it arrived. Advancements continue to be made in music reproduction technology. The latest comes from Japan. Digital Audio Tape, or DAT, is supposed to bring the same clear sound to cassette tapes that can be heard on compact discs. But DAT has its opponents. One of those is the Coalition to Save America's Music, it's called. Michael Jones tells us why. We are, are people who are trying to survive, and that is literally the truth of it. We are people trying to survive. They, on the other hand, are people trying to up their profit margin. That's how songwriter Niles Borup describes the battle between the Coalition to Save America's Music and the Japanese makers of digital audio tape equipment. Borup says the coalition isn't against the DAT technology per se, but they feel some controls are needed to protect the rights and royalties of songwriters and artists. I only get paid a penny per record, and if very many people don't buy that record, it can very quickly add up to me not making a living. And because the digital audio tape copy would sound just as good as the original, the Save America's music people say you and I would have no reason to go into a record store and shell out the money for a new album. To keep that from happening, the coalition is backing a special chip developed by CBS. What that chip would be done is it be encoded into the uh, cassette and into the tape player. What that would do is if somebody buys the DAT tape, they can play the tape 
the sound will be perfect. But if they go to record the tape, it will interfere in that recording process. Digital audio tape equipment isn't sold in the U.S. yet, but Borup says it's better to start the battle early. Perhaps that way they'll have a fighting chance. Michael Jones, WBRC 6 News. It was a sad day for baseball today, uh, losing a great. It was a sad day for everybody in sports, or anybody who, who cares about anybody. Dick Hauser lost his battle with brain cancer today, dead at the age of 51. We'll tell you about the manager and his career when we come back. need to get away. Come to your participating Goodyear retailer's great getaway sweepstakes. Now the tires that take you home can help you get away. Buy three Goodyear Eagle radials at the regular price. The fourth tire is free. Register through July 11th to win one of five Pontiac Fiero GTs, a week's vacation at participating Sheraton hotels, or a Polaroid Sun camera. The Goodyear Eagle sale ends June 27th. Don't let it get away without seeing your participating Birmingham area Goodyear retailer. I'm Betty Goodeal, and the big question people are asking me is, are import prices going up? And the answer is, not if you save on Toyota now. Thousands of new Toyotas were purchased at the old lower prices. Plus, get a $2,000 rebate from the factory distributor on all these new Toyotas. Ellie Brom vans, MR2s, even truck buyers can get $2,000 back. But time is running out. Ask for Betty Goodeal at your Toyota dealer by July 4th while you can still pay less and get a $2,000 rebate. I'm so smart. Oh, really? I just got a checking account that pays money. Pays money? Yeah. Alabama Federal checking accounts pay interest. What's the catch? None. At Alabama Federal, my checking account is making money. Your checking account? Good evening, everybody. Former Kansas City Royals and New York Yankee manager Dick Hauser died this afternoon after losing a year-long battle with brain cancer. You remember it was shortly after leading the American League All-Stars to a win in last year's All-Star game that Hauser was admitted to a hospital for tests which revealed the presence of a malignant growth. His longtime friend and St. Louis Cardinal manager Whitey Herzog managed the National League team that night. He knew something was wrong. The last thing I remember, I'm going to the home plate in the All-Star game without a lineup card. That's the last time I got talked to him. Without the lineup card? You forgot it? He said he didn't have one. No. That's, you know, the next day then they found a tumor. Oh. Meanwhile, the scenes you're looking at now are from spring training this season when Hauser gamely tried to make a comeback as manager, but after just two days on the field, he said a tearful so long to the ball club. Once again, good luck to all of you. Dick Hauser will always remember his smile, his grace under pressure, and the courage with which he fought his last opponent. Jim Eisenreich has returned to the major leagues. The man who had to leave the majors due to a nervous disorder, which later was diagnosed as Tourette's syndrome, has been recalled by the Royals from their double-A farm team in Memphis. Eisenreich will at first be used as a pinch hitter. He was the Southern League's most prolific hitter during his stay with Memphis. The NCAA has placed the University of Texas on probation for two years. 51 rule violations and the best traditions of the Southwest Conference. The penalties announced today will reduce football scholarships in 88 and 89 from 25 to 20 and the number of recruitment visits from 95 to 75. These penalties, by the way, will have no effect on the September 5th Auburn-Texas game, which is scheduled at the newly expanded Jordan-Hare Stadium. The Dallas Cowboys have put quarterback Reggie Collier on recallable waivers today. That means the Cowboys could pull Collier off the waiver wire if he is claimed by another team within 10 days. If there's no claim, then the former Birmingham Stallion and a former Southern Miss star could begin negotiating with any NFL team he'd like. The Winston Cup Tour is in Riverside, California this weekend at that twisting nine-turn road course. Terry Labonte, Darrell Waltrip, Tim Richmond are some of the favorites as the Winston Cup Series works its way towards the midseason point. Dale Earnhardt continues as the Winston Cup point leader. 
From the Boston Celtics comes word today that Bill Walton may miss all of next season in the aftermath of scheduled surgery upcoming shortly. The veteran center who played only sparingly this season is facing complicated surgery on his right foot and ankle. And by the way, the Celtics today re-signed forward Darren Day and guard Connor Henry. The toughest test in American golf begins tomorrow on one of the game's most historic courses. The U.S. Open begins on the famed Olympic Club course in San Francisco. Thick, wiry roughs small slick greens throw in that turbulent air on the Pacific coast could be a tough tournament let's take a quick look at the scoreboard for you Detroit is a winner so too Milwaukee Seattle has shut out the White Sox two to nothing four three Yankees over Baltimore Boston four zip over Cleveland ten to five Kansas City beats Oakland the other game is on the way underway I should say on the West Coast National League there you see the Cubbies a winner likewise San Diego Atlanta six to one over the Giants Montreal nine to one over the New York Mets other games Game in action. Cincinnati leads Houston. The Pirates have just beat St. Louis 4-0. And a doubleheader at Rickwood. Uh, the Barons lost the first game 2-1 to one to Columbus. Second game is 3-1 Barons. They're in the third. Maybe too much celebrating last night for They're the They're entitled, though. They deserve yeah. it. Thanks, Eli. Coming up on WBRC 6 News, we'll show you tonight's homecoming for two daring local pilots. These men just finished the successful retracing of Charles Lindbergh's famous flight. At the rough shop, we say, you can't buy carpet for less unless it's a lot less carpet. Here's proof. Three rooms of carpet, including pad and labor, only $399. We had these big roaches coming in from outside, the palmetto bugs. And I didn't want to use messy sprays or foggers, because she gets into everything. <laughs> then in the garden section, I found these, Amdro Roach Control Stations. There's a size just for the big roaches. Amdro is different. The roaches go in eat and crawl away to die. Amdro guarantees it for three months. It's so clean and child resistant. Amdro Roach Control Stations. They work or your money back. You can shop for a sporty car until you're blue in the face. And never find better buys than at Birmingham's Big Four Nissan dealers this weekend. We're selling our Nissan Pulsar NX at $1,400 less than Toyota MR2. Our Nissan 300ZX is over $1,600 less than Toyota Supra. We'll even sell a Nissan Pathfinder at $470 less than Toyota's 4Runner. Why shop till you're blue in the face? This weekend, save more at Crown Nissan, Hoover, Dixie Nissan, Bessemer, Jim Burton Nissan Downtown, or Sarah Nissan Centerpoint. Oxford Gallery's furniture is in beautiful rooms everywhere. At gala formal gatherings, Oxford Gallery's is there, gracious and elegant. Intimate dinners in a host of lovely settings, Oxford Gallery's is there, always in perfect taste. Casual rooms to relax in, Oxford Gallery's is there, comfortable and cozy. Whatever your style of living, let us become a beautiful part of your life. Oxford Gallery's, furniture to live with. Two Alabama men returned safely home tonight after an 18-day transatlantic flight in a small plane. The pair was following the same route as the one Charles Lindbergh took in his famous flight. Kendra Veach was at the Bessemer Airport this evening when the plane arrived. It was 60 years ago that Charles Lindbergh made his famous flight across the Atlantic Ocean. At the end of his trip, millions of Americans cheered his accomplishment. 60 years later, two Alabama men ended a similar trip at the Bessemer Airport. They left May 31st on their own transatlantic flight. It took them from Alabama to Canada, Greenland, Iceland, Scotland, and Germany. While there was no ticker tape parade at their arrival, family and friends were here for a welcome home party complete with champagne. Dr. Peter Yonder, a Shelby County radiologist, and Dr. Ivan Brezovic, a UAB physicist, both say it was the trip of a lifetime. I'm happy. I think it was a terrific trip, and if I didn't, hadn't had my champagne, I probably would do it right away again. And I understand you pretty much retraced Lindbergh's flight, right? Uh, we flew a little further north than he did, and uh, we made more stops on the way, uh, which he couldn't make because there were no stops at the time. And uh, I think we had more fun than he had. <laughs> For both men, their trip from here across the Atlantic to Frankfurt, Germany, was a dream come true. Crossing the Atlantic with a private vehicle was something I dreamed of probably since I was about eight years old. And now it came true. You glad to be home? Yeah, I'm glad to be back. You do it again anytime soon? Not uh, tomorrow, but maybe uh, next year. <laughs> At the Bessemer Airport, Kendra Veach, WBRC, 6 News.
You think those fellas paid attention to some weather reports on that trip? I'll bet they did. They watched their maps closely. Here's the breakfast forecast for tomorrow morning. We'll have some clouds around and quite mild, 71 degrees. Sunrise time at 536, Janet. Thank you, Mike. That's WBRC 6 News for this Wednesday. Our news continues in the morning at 530. For the entire WBRC 6 News team, I'm Scott Richards. Thanks for watching. Benson is next.